All right, so my name is Kim Price, and of course, I am back again. You know, we are still talking about Christian Archie, of which you and I know the reason why we are talking about him every day. It's all about the earthquake that happened in Turkey recently, of which a lot of families have lost their dear ones, their properties, and um, it's just sad. Crazy things are happening in Turkey and Syria right now, yo. It's crazy and sad at the same time. It's bob. But before I say anything, I want to ask you a question. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? If yes, let me know. If no, too, let me know in the comment section so that you'll be part of the conversation. Because today, we're going to talk about two things. It's all about Christianity. One, it's a post that I chanced on the internet about, uh, made by Fifi Bright, who happens to be an atheist. He has something to say about Christianity and Alpha Hour. And the second one is, you know, finally, Christianity's partner is out. And this is what she has to say about this whole incident. Claire, thank you so much for uh, talking to us. And I'm so sorry that you're having to go through this. It's unimaginable the not knowing. What information have you been told? Do you know anything? Um, well, all I know is that currently his agent is in Turkey and uh, he's trying to get to the place where it happened. And we know that his building has been um well they know where the building is and they're trying their best to rescue everybody and they know that there are people still under the rubble but the problem is that um they don't have the equipment necessary to get them out um so yeah that's so he's still missing and we don't know where he is yeah and that's just an unimaginable feeling for you to have to wake up with every day and live with at the moment. Yeah, especially for my children as well. So, yeah. I'm so, so sorry. The, 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 the job of trying to get information out and his whereabouts is extremely difficult, as I'm, as, as I'm sure anyone can appreciate, if, given these circumstances. Uh, do you have any hope that, that the information uh, that, you're, that will reach you um, is something that you will be able to, to trust? Because part of the problem is here, so many people don't know what's going on. Um, well, yeah. So it was quite, um, uh, yeah, shocking. As you can imagine, if the club is confirming, saying that he has been found in alive and taken to hospital, and uh, 11 hours later, um, my children had to hear it from the radio, saying that they still don't know where he is. And um, so I know that his agent is there and they are trying their best to find him. So I trust that he will bring me, obviously, um, the news that I can trust. I've been saying it, it's very sad. Looking at how she, she, she was saying everything, how she, she spoke shows that she's been through, honestly. You know, no one deserves to go through what, um, not Christian Church family, but whoever is involved. Like, nobody's supposed to go through this kind of old pain, but it's like a nature thing. You can't stop it from happening. You, you, you agree with me? Good. But you know, she made mention of the fact that they've discovered some people still under the rebel. But because of us, inadequate equipment and so on and so forth, they are still here to find them. You, you get what I'm talking about? Good. So this is a video of five members in the family who were found alive after being stuck in there for 129 hours since the earthquake happened. And honestly, the people were very happy seeing them. Yes, you know, at this point, you might probably think that whoever is still here to be found, definitely that person might have lost his life over there. Yes, because it happened, I think, 129 hours. It's crazy. So, this brings me back to our dear brother, Christian Nachu. You know, um, to date, there's no news out there saying that Christian Nachu is alive. But with what the wife or the partner said about the fact that there are some people still stuck in there, but because of what inadequate equipment and stuff. And you watching this particular video, 
showing that what the woman is saying is very true. You get my point. So I believe that Christina too can also be found. Yes. If there are some people still in there and being rescued alive, definitely Christina too is still alive. But bro, it's just sad. Honestly, it's just if 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 you think about these things and look like look at how some people are suffering in there, yo, it's just sad. Christina too only knows what he's going through. Only if he's still alive. For real. They can't see him. It's crazy. It's crazy. But still, we're praying. We're praying that he will be back again once alive. So um, let me talk about the first one. You know, I told you that we're going to talk about two things. And we are done with the words. Christina Chu's partner, what she has to say about this whole incident. And some family members found alive after being stuck in there for almost like 129 hours. Good. That one is done. Let me talk about the post that I chanced on the internet made by Fifi Bright, who appears to be an atheist. I saw a news headline claiming Christian Achu has been found moments after Pastor Ajman Elvis and his Alpha Hour prayer team engaged in an all-night prayer section asking God to intercede. I saw many of you going on your normal headless chicken rant. What the God of Alpha Hour cannot do does not exist. The very same God that watched and sat idle while the earthquake occurred. The very same God that watched and sat idle while thousands of humans got buried under the debris. You lot have a lot to learn and with time I believe you will. Christian Achu's best bet and that of thousands others who happen to find themselves in such an unfortunate and difficult situation is solely dependent and reliant on the Turkish rescue mission and how fast they can work to locate them alive. No God or gods can do anything for anyone at this moment, especially when they sat idle while the calamity happened. No amount of prayers can do Jack to help the situation. It is sad reality but very true. As it stands now, he is still not being found and if you probably understood what he said all that he's saying is that no one should believe that it's through the prayers by pastors that people can be rescued alive in this world um terrible incident which is happening right now in turkey he's saying god does not exist god wouldn't stand there for his people to go through what they are going through right now yes so don't you believe that a pastor can pray and fast so as to be able to always, um, talk to God so that God will answer their prayers so that people will be alive or rescued alive. You know, they happen. That's what he's saying. And honestly, um, look at how people are reacting to this particular post. Um, some of the, 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 the opinions is just interesting. That's why I asked you the question, do you believe in God? If yes, like I said, let me know in the comment section below. And if, if no too, let me know. Be part of the conversation because this is what yes and <laughs> it's just crazy yeah it's crazy you know definitely people will come out and what um share their opinions which are also to yours but you can never do anything about it but let me also know your opinion to this particular word post um do you think that if today we get to know that christian actually has been rescued alive is it um god's miracle or not what do you think or is it meant to happen like that you get it let me know let's talk let's interact in the comment section below please share your opinion don't insult respect people's words opinion you get it good so that said this is what i forget about christian Achu and um what is currently happening in turkey i'm talking about the terrible earthquake you know i told you whenever there's something new out about our dear brother christian Achu, i'm gonna be here and talk about it or let you know you get it? We talk about his wife's opinion, what she has to say about um, Christina Chu's words or this particular incident. She said a lot and some of the videos of um, family members being rescued alive after being stuck in there for 129 hours. And we talked about um, Fifi Bryce's post about Christina Chu and Pastor Elvis after our prayer every day. All right, but please, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section too. My name is Kim Prince. I'm going to be back again with another interesting video. Subscribe to the channel and stay updated. Bye-bye.